I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. What you're looking at is just a wee little bit of alcohol up here in the top of this, uh, or in the bottom of this can, and I cut some of it off to adjust the height. What we have here is the old fan Sterling engine. I put a flywheel on each side, showing what this thing can do with a little bit of heat. I got very little bit of alcohol down here in the bottom, so I'll go ahead and slide that up in here. There we go. It shouldn't take long, not with this. And I'll give it a little push start. Well, kind of hard to do with the camera. There we go. You got that one flywheel a little bit warped. Starting a little off center down here. There we go. The glass is covered with soot, but you can see that displacer jumping up and down inside right there. Must have a little moisture inside the piston. We'll have to work on that. This will run for quite a while on the heat that was stored. Running better than it was when the fire was going. Too bad the moisture was there. There's that brass piston. I can get the camera out of the shadow. Not running too bad for the fire being out. Runs, uh, we'll probably uh, fire it up one more time now that the moisture's out. See how it goes. The glass on the outside of this is from a candle holder. I ought to just pull this up out of the stand. Got her going again. Put a little flame under her. And it goes this way, I believe. She might not be level here. Oh, that makes a lot of difference here. Brought it out so I can get some light above it so you can see the piston actually working. Nice flywheel. Without the load of the fan blade on it, whoop, the fire just went out. I'm gone. I'm going to use the, about a quarter teaspoon when I do that. This will run a long time. Starting to speed up again. <laughs> Let's 
seems to go as it, as it slows down, it likes resonant speeds or something. Placer going up and down. Mm. Gotta love it. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energies. Let's pull this out and show you what the whole machine itself looks like. We don't need the rest of the stand. And basically this is what we're looking at. You can see it on this side, the soot hadn't covered it up yet. Oh, when you clean the soot, just use a dry paper towel in the wind. Don't try to use soap and water. Stuff's like ink if you do that and a lot harder to get off. That's the whole engine part right there. Pistons above. This is nothing but something up here to... Where I try to put ice. If I do that, it gets moisture on the piston, so I try not to do that anymore. A little bit of resistance on the uh, displacer rod. You can hear it rubbing. Level helps out a little bit. Speed up again. <laughs> Still no flame. about putting a new displacer rod on this. That'll make it run a lot faster, a lot smoother. I've got a real thin brass wire on this one. I think it's starting to wear out and getting in little bumps and ridges. I've had this up a lot faster. That's part of building a Stirling engine troubleshooting it and finding out what makes it work best. Get to listen to it. I'll press the camera up against it so you can watch it as it moves. That's the displacer rod. Yeah. I don't hear it rubbing as much. But I know it's still rubbing. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energy. Thank you.